This is Mound A. It was built in three stages. The westernmost cone, the broad flat platform, and the ramp connecting the top of the cone and the platform. You are looking at the eastern edge of the platform. Mound A is one of the biggest ab aboriginal earthworks in North America, and it is the largest built by hunter fisher gatherers. It consists of nearly 312,000 cubic yards of earth, that is about 390,000 tons of soil that would have been carried in baskets and possibly skin containers of about 50 pounds each. <music> Today we're going to be checking out a U.S. World Heritage Center called Poverty Point. It's a Louisiana State Park. And uh, we're going to start off here at the ranger station. I literally just parked. Here's all the information on Poverty Point. It possesses national significance in commemorating the history of the United States of America. Very beautiful day here. Heck of a day to do this tour. It is the 21st of April, 2021. I have no idea what we're getting ourselves into, to be honest. Uh, I have I didn't do much research. Usually when I have a new account, I look up, you know, top attractions near me. And this was actually the top attraction near me. So, we're both new to this. Hey. Another day in paradise. Yeah. I really like that tree. So, let's get in here. This is a very cool place. It's got a little movie theater. I guess this is for information. It's got all these Indian artifacts. Check those out. Very cool. Paleo Indian. So this is like Native Americans. I can appreciate that. We don't have enough um, commemorating our Native Americans who are the original Americans using this area. Very cool. Huh, so Poverty Point folk tales. Interesting. Well, believe it or not, we still haven't paid for our ticket, so. Put your hands. Okay. And each one of those numbers will correlate with the information throughout the booklet. At three, there's a contact station where you can park your vehicle. There's an optional hike to the top of Mount A, which is the largest mound here on the site. Okay. And the whole trail makes a two-mile loop around the earthworks and brings you back here. Excellent, excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, so we've paid and we are in. Before we start the tour, I was just going to go through the museum real fast and give you an idea of what kind of stuff you'd find in the museum. You have to start at the museum when you come here. And... Uh, so you might as well get an idea. It has all types of artifacts. What I really enjoy about this particular national site is it, its emphasis on Native American culture. You know, these mounds were pretty much the original uh, inhabitants, homes and communities, and how they used them and how they used the water from the Mississippi and the local rivers. So these are, let me get some light on them. These are real. Yep, these are real. Interesting. Is this a fox? Interesting. this off and get this up high. So this is the future of Poverty Point. <laughs> Technology providing valuable aids, conventional archaeological methods. History since Poverty Point, Aztecs and Indians. A whole lot has happened since this. That's 
kind of cool to see all that humans have done since this giant mound. Look at all these artifacts. Wow, those are all actual arrowheads. Not like that stuff we got on the uh, the tour cave and the cave tour in Tennessee, uh, Appalachian Taverns. Go check that video out if you're watching this. It's really good. Uh, now, I know I'm not giving you the full details of what you're seeing. I'm sorry. You're, my apologies. This is all really cool stuff. The gorgets. And the bars and tablets look very different from the way they look today. The different metals and that were used. Check out these figurines. Those Native American figurines are... Check out these Native American. They like action figures just like we like action figures. Very cool. Ooh, they liked... <laughs> they liked... The woman anatomy just like we like the woman anatomy interesting miniature decorated objects very cool I might just put this I don't know where I'm gonna put this in the video you know it's always kind of weird doing a museum section because you know according to YouTube you guys got about 15 seconds of attention I can't lull for 15 so is it okay if I exit through the back to get the view? Thank you. All right. So this is a trailhead. Look at this. This is the same river the Native Americans used. It looks so pretty and muddy, but mostly pretty. Very nice. So let's kick off this tour. I hope you enjoyed the museum section. I hope you're still with me here. Uh, it looks like we can only do the driving tour, which is perfect because that's the tour we would have done anyway. Uh, <laughs> so uh, it's actually across the street. So this is a national park on the honor system. And thank goodness for my karma. I paid first and didn't turn left and check out the mounds because I would have done that for free. But I don't know, I would have came back around and paid the $4. Pay your $4 and keep these people. These national parks are really the best part about America. Okay. And then up ahead, I don't really know what this building is. It says staff parking only. It says it's a laboratory. A laboratory? Is this a laboratory? I love laboratories. It doesn't look like it's... Oh, nope, it's just an office space. Yep, it's, uh, it's for staff. Okay, let's start the story. Behind us right here is the Welcome Center. You're going to have to start here at the Welcome Center to pay. But across is the actual entrance to the Indian Mounds. So the entrance is across the street. We're just going to begin driving tour. Pay entrance fee before entering. All right. So these are the mounds. How did they even see that? That just looks like a circle in the grass. Uh, there's a big mound up ahead, and that one, I'm sorry, I had to kill a lot of bugs to get here, so I don't, I'm trying to keep the view away from the windshield. All right, let's start. Let's go. How did you even know that was a mound? All these mounds are circled. And then I guess you just like get out here and... This is Ridge 1. So, Southwest Ridge. The Southwest Ridge have been greatly reduced in size of extensive farming activity 
and natural erosion. They average about two feet in height today, but may have been as high as five feet back in the day. It's sometimes called the industrial part of town. That's because it's strong evidence that artifacts were manufactured here. Okay. I'm just going to pause the video here. You can read it if you want. This is an old factory from Indian times. That's really cool. Let's continue. mound look at it that's the biggest mound that mound is huge look at that giant mound holy cow we are here in front of mound a this is the largest Indian mound the Native American Indians had something going on here and I wonder what it was. To be honest, I'm not too sure on the details, but it is quite large and impressive. Uh, difficult to believe that this was all a big city. So we were just at the factory down there. And let's see what this big mound was. Oakley Doakley. What a beautiful, beautiful, look at that tree. Isn't it absolutely beautiful? I love all the yellow flowers here. It's it's really quite gorgeous. What a beautiful view. This is on the way up. Look at the moon. I love it when the moon's out during the day. What a what a crazy shot that is. Anyway, so we are continuing our walk towards the top of the mound. Very cool. Really a peaceful place, a beautiful place. Worth the four dollars. <laughs> The Native American Indians, they used to have to deal with tornadoes, all types of stuff. This area gets tornadoes and floods and I can see, I can see how scary that would be in a world with sticks and mud and stone and not concrete. The original Americans, in a lot of ways, the real Americans. The birds agree. This is Mound A. It was built in three stages. The westernmost cone, the broad flat platform, and the ramp connecting the top of the cone and the platform. You are looking at the eastern edge of the platform. Mound A is one of the biggest ab aboriginal earthworks in North America, and it is the largest built by hunter fisher gatherers. It consists of nearly 312,000 cubic yards of earth, that is about 390,000 tons of soil that would have been carried in baskets and possibly skin containers of about 50 pounds each. The Poverty Point inhabitants would have had to carry about 15.5 million loads to construct this giant mound. Radiocarbon dates on organic materials from under the mound indicate that it was built sometime in, after 1400 BC. Mound A is believed to be the last Poverty Point aged mound constructed at the site. So let's start. Let's start our walk. It is so beautiful. It reminds me of that Robin Williams movie, Toys. <laughs> That's so random, right? Look at all this earth. Epps, Louisiana. Just get off at Del High on I-20 and uh, just start heading north. You'll find it. It's beautiful. Plenty of signs. I wonder what this place was. Nice. 
no running and remain on the trail. Poverty Point, World Heritage Site, and pretty impressive. Keep hitting you with that 360 view. <laughs> that is an interesting bench. You know, let's give it a sit. See what that's like. All right. <laughs> that was a good sit. I see why they give you a sit, because you're about to climb stairs. <laughs> You happen to puffing and blowing too? Nah. It didn't look like 33 steps. I thought it was easy because of the slant, but uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> it gets you. The Indians were going away for the start climbing and going home. So they started having to come back up the mound. <laughs> Did you read anywhere where they said what this was used for? Except for relationships. Yeah. For relationships. Get out of here. So if you got a really? man or woman or whatever, you come up here, I reckon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the scientists, they had a good imagination. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, that the, it looks more like a defensive lookout. You could see anyone coming from a mile away. That's what I would use it for. Exactly. I'd have like the whoever's in charge of stuff up here. Right. See, they'd be all physically fit, but I'd be fat and slappy. <laughs> I don't think you could be fat back then. They hadn't, they hadn't uh, in, invented processed foods yet. So everything, exactly right. everything was, even if you wanted to get fat, you had to be like royalty. You had to have yeah. such an amount of food at your, dis at your, yeah. Had a lot of wives and they could have went hunting for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. The wild man was eating all the good things. Bring me the leftovers. Bring me the legs of the deer or something. This is what he found when he was digging for crystals in Arkansas. Oh, that's beautiful. That's really pretty. That's really nice. In Arkansas? Ar yeah. Oh. Up above Hot, hot Springs. That'd make a Very nice. At Coleman. Yeah. Yeah, you know. I, have, I haven't seen <laughs> stuff like that in this region of the country, only in like in the southwest. Yeah. Oh, yeah, That's very yeah. cool. Exactly. Yeah, that, I didn't expect that in Arkansas. It was uh, his first trip to Arkansas. So we're finishing up, coming off of Mound A. It's been a... Uh, met some very awesome people up there and we had a great conversation now i'm giving you the uh the view as you come down from poverty point it's absolutely beautiful and you will find some really great souls here i mean i don't know how to describe it but i just met uh I just met a, a local guy, 
the name Robbie. He's really cool. He grows his own chickens and turkeys. He talked to me a lot about that. And then I met this uh, wonderful woman who was telling me about pyramids in Bosnia. I mean, just, you can't make this up. This is living. Getting out there, going to your national park and enjoying the beautiful view and the, and the wonderful Americans. You can't, you, you don't get better than this. Welcome to BAM Media. Today we're going to be checking out Poverty Point. So stay tuned. You like that? How I just threw in a promo? I just thought the view was good. Please don't get mad at me and unsubscribe. <laughs> I just thought the view was good. Can I do another? All right, one more. Isn't it beautiful? Welcome to Poverty Point in Ebb, Mississippi. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Ebb, Louisiana. Let me redo that. Okay. Hey, welcome to Poverty Point in Ebb, Louisiana. Today we're going to be... Absolutely beautiful. All right. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tour of Mound A. Let's continue and see what this place is all about. All right. And that's Mound A. I hope you guys have enjoyed. There it is. There she blurs. Poverty Point Mound A, the main attraction made by Native American Indians. They don't really know what it was used for, but I think it had to be some type of lookout. Hard to say. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you like content like this from the passenger side of your best friend's ride, taking YouTube videos, please be sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day. We are at Mound B. It's the oldest mound at Poverty Point, dating back to 1600 BC. So we've seen Mound A, and now we are checking out Mound B. Not nearly as large. Here, pause it here and grab that information. The topsoil was removed before mound construction began. After that, the mound was built in seven construction stages. It's quite a nice mound. You know, I, I wish the Native Americans were remembered for more than just these piles of dirt that we don't truly understand, if I'm being honest. But here we are, Poverty Point. Oh, red ants. And this is the view off the top of the mound. Pretty cool, huh? What a drop. This is a tall mound. Welcome to Poverty Point, and this is the top of Mound B here at Poverty Point. It gets quite up off the ground. It's pretty, it's pretty big boy. Not as big as Mound A by a long shot, but whoever cuts the grass here does a great job. It's been a really fun adventure today. I got my $4 worth for sure. Remember, if you like content like this, you know, maybe give me a like and a subscribe. Or not. Isn't it beautiful?